Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the show where we talk about youth, aspirations, vision, life that we all hope to have in the future. And how do we work and build this new reality? Last time we said that you already have within you whatever it takes to prevail and to succeed, to change the world. It is up to you to realize that Allah already gave you everything you will ever need to manage yourself and affect the society around you. It only can be done if you start working with yourself and toward these goals in an organic way. You grow organically, you exercise and make a decisions, make a choices and you stick with these things and you exercise your judgment like any other muscle. This muscle of decision making and strength that you will get from winning will take you to the next level. It can only grow organically. It can go only, only go by exercising and doing things that winners do constantly. So when we look at the reality of life, to master this and to get to the next phase on life, you need to be like any other winner. You need to build the habits in your life because habits become who you are. You can do outbursts of good deeds, do a few things here and there, but that is not you. Eventually what will take over your life is the habits that you build. And the mastery is in the details. Often I say to the, to the people, look at even the way you carry yourself with other people. Are you late? Do you come on time? Do you say and do you do what you say? Is that in sync? If I entrusted you with something, would you fulfill that? If we are running some uh, project, if I rely on you to do something, will you do that? And often we see students, I see my students doing assignments in the last week, last day, last hour. And most of them do it in the last uh, few hours before due date. And I know where this comes from. I, at one point in time, I misunderstood what studying at even university was. You see, if we just talk about that aspect of life, which many students miss, while you are a student, you have opportunity not just to finish your degree. You see, many people misunderstand the, why am I going to university to get degree, knowledge, and then off I go into this whatever profession. That's not why you go to university. That's not the point of university. Point of university is for you to learn how to learn. Point of you going to university is how to, le to learn how to learn quickly how to understand and adopt new concepts. Now, you don't have to go to university, but you have to build this muscle of learning things, new things quickly. And on top of that, once you do that, you learn how to do things responsibly. So if I give you a task, a problem, a challenge, assignment, you know how to solve it. You have a skills and time management and critical thinking, all of these things you exercise responsibility, meaning you are able to respond to this challenge. This is what I want from you. I want you to be able to learn, to find if you don't know, to solve the problem and do it independently. That's the point of the university. You don't know everything when you finish university or when you work in a business, when you establish your business, when you start, run and grow your business. You don't know everything. But what you need to know is how do I learn things quickly? How do I adopt? How do I solve the problem? Am I responsible? Can other people rely on me? And this is where the mastery of the details comes. This is what we want to see. Only when you have completed all of these things, when you build this capacity, will you be able to take to the next challenge. And this challenge will not eat you alive. You will take this challenge fully 100% you will be empowered to deal with the situation. Otherwise, what you, what you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you can't push you know, 50 kilos in the, in the gym, how can you, how can, if you didn't build the muscle the capacity, how can you build 100? So it's never about type of a problem or weight that is hitting you. It's always, am I strong? Am I growing stronger to push back, to challenge myself? Do I have the muscles to execute and come to the next phase because in this process while you're working on these core skills while you're developing these core skills you're developing another thing which is the attitude 
winning attitude that you do not stop. It takes you uh, very little to focus and, and, and drive and, and push whatever it takes to finish. You cannot be distracted that easily. Things, uh, events, normal type of distract cannot affect you. This is what we want to see in mastery of the details. This is what we want from people who are resilient to whatever is going on. And they are able to pounce from that low point, whatever is thrown at them. They build that skill set and the mentality. And this in turn made them different kind of people. Very generous, very loving, very affectionate. They don't go with people who are, let's say, uh, very, very low in their understanding of life, but they focus on ideas. They stop discussing people. They stop discussing trivial matters, wasting their time, but they utilize their time effectively, focus on matters and focus on winning. And that's what we want from you as well. And all of us, Salaam Alaikum until next time.